We can't stop talking about Emma McKeon. She's won an incredible sixth gold medal. McKeon is away. Emma McKeon has led the way. Australia's best result at an Olympics ever. Emma's out in front. Really good start. Emma McKeon has added the 50 metres freestyle world title. She gets maximum power through the top end of her stroke. Six gold medals for Emma McKeon. Emma McKeon has cemented her place as Australia's most successful athlete. She's got her 11th. The Queen of the Commonwealth. Well, at the Tokyo Olympics, I found out that I had won the most medals under the Olympics for any Australian. Even when I hear people say that now, it really still hasn't sunk in like two years later. Emma is the most decorated Australian swimmer. She's broken multiple world records. She really is a most incredible athlete. When I see her compete and swim now that she's the best in the world, I'm proud to have known her for so long. To describe Emma, she has, you know, a really warm heart and warm personality. She's um, quite an, an unassuming figure, um, especially outside of the pool. But when it comes to the pool, the performance really speaks for itself. I think there's definitely pressure and a lot of eyes on swimming in the Olympics and just on sport in general. But for me, most of the pressure that I've experienced would be pressure for myself. When you're in a sport where things are won by 0.01 of a second, you really have to be a bit of a perfectionist. And even though we're striving for perfection, it doesn't exist. We have to know that failure is all part of it. It's about how you respond in those times. And I think if you put everything you can into trying to achieve that goal and to prepare and to work really hard at it, I think that's what success is. There is something that is quite unique in sport, that there's those people that inspire you to be able to go on and achieve and accomplish things that you never really thought were possible. Emma McKean is most definitely inspiring the nation and a lot of swimmers, not only in Australia, but around the world. Emma's legacy goes far beyond the pool. She's a great example to all young Australians and someone that they can aspire to be like. And it's not always about winning medals and going to the Olympics, it's about being active and enjoying sport. And I think people like Emma, when you see her competing and enjoying it, I think she gives people a lot of joy as well. Meeting young kids today and knowing I was once in that position, I love being able to give my time to them and chat to them and inspire them or give them little bits of advice. That's something to me that I'm really proud of. It's definitely very important to have your support network. I don't think we can achieve anything on our own. For me, it's my coach and my family and teammates and all these people have helped me get to this point. The sky's the limit for someone with, you know, the talent that, that Emma has. Definitely, she'll be the, the person that most people are glued to their TVs watching at the next games. There's still a lot more that we'll see from Emma.